My package is here. My package is here. Oh yeah, my helicopter parts are here. Cool. Hey there, check it out. Here it is, the cheapest, decent quality six channel helicopter, including everything needed to fly. I have to say I'm really excited to get this project going because a bunch of you have been asking me to recommend a good six channel helicopter for the cheapest price. I'm actually building this helicopter for one of my subscribers and then I'm going to ship it to him ready to fly when it's all done. And if you're following my Learn How to Fly RC Helicopters video series, you will eventually need a six channel RC helicopter. You only need to buy the parts from two different online retailers. This helicopter package I put together contains a 2.4 GHz transmitter, four servos, a headlock gyro, a 2200 mAh battery, a brushless motor and speed controller. In this video, I'm going to go over each part I bought and why and tell you where I got them. And I will also put links on my website, www.mikeysrc.com, as well as on the sidebar of this video. So it'll be real easy to duplicate what I did. If you want to use different, better, or more expensive parts than what I use, that's fine. I just wanted to use the cheapest stuff I could find that I knew would work well for an entry level 6 channel 450 size helicopter. And the best part about it is all the parts are compatible with the Align T-Rex 450 SE version 2 helicopter. So parts will always be very easy to find. I also think that anyone who wants to learn the basics of setting up a helicopter will find value in this video series. Alright, the first thing we're going to check out is the helicopter. And this is the EXI 450 from xhilly.com and I paid $40 for it. And it's pretty good construction. I've had one of these before, so this is the second one I've purchased. And I have to say, I think the frame is actually a little nicer than the first time I bought it. Uh, the only downside is it does have on the swash plate, it's plastic down here, um, but I don't think that's gonna affect the performance hardly at all, especially with an intermediate flyer. Once you get into really extreme th 3D flying, I suppose it might make a difference, but this is gonna get you flying and doing just about all the maneuvers you wanna do in the beginning. On my first EXI 450, I've also crashed several times, and one time I know was directly on this head. I bent the main shaft, but I didn't hurt anything on this head here. In fact, I've never had to replace anything over the two years that I've had the EXI 450 on this head. Now, the things are starting to get a little bit looser and sloppier, especially on these ball joints here, but um, they're still working. And of course, you got the basic canopy here, this is your night head bars. They go from the bottom of your frame up to the tail boom like that at an angle. Of course, we've got our main blades here. We've got some ultra cool stickers that we can stick on there if we want to. Here's the landing gear. And uh, here's the little blade protector that you use when you're transporting it. And all the little screws that we're gonna be using to assemble the helicopter. Now, a little side note here, I have heard that HobbyCity.com also has one of these helicopters for even cheaper, um, you know, especially if you pay for the slow shipping. However, I believe that it's a copy of the T-Rex 450 version one. And I prefer the version two. I think it's easier to find parts and there's a couple different, there's a couple updates on the, um, the blade grips, the main blade grips, as well as the way the uh, tail slider is constructed that I think is better. So that's why I opted to buy it from xhilly.com. I think it's a better option. So the next thing to check out is the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter and receiver package that I got. Now I actually bought this from R2 Hobbies. I paid about $50 for it because I wanted to get it sooner. But what I'm going to be quoting on my price list and the uh, sidebar of information on this video is actually for the same transmitter if you were to buy it from HobbyCity.com. Now as far as I can tell from studying the pictures and the, and the description of this, it's the same exact transmitter. It just probably has a different sticker on it. So you can buy it from HobbyCity.com for $35. Now, one thing to note though is from Hobby City, I believe they do not include this little software disc and this cable, both of which you actually need to program this transmitter. In order to actually program all your custom settings in here, you have to plug this into your computer. This can be a little bit of a hassle, but hey, it's cheap and it's 2.4 gigahertz, so it should provide us with some reliability at the flying field. I'll make sure to include the information of where to get the software and that you want to buy this cable extra too if you're going to be buying from HobbyCity.com. These are the four servos that I got. They're all the same. I know that some people use a quicker servo on the tail. 
Um, I have found flying my EXI 450 with four of these that it's decent enough for intermediate flying. If you can start to get into 3D flying, you're probably going to want a faster tail servo. But for now, it does the job. And for four of these, at HobbyCity.com, it's only about $15. Next up is this head locking gyro that I got from HobbyCity.com. Now it says Telebi on it, so I'm hoping that it's an actual Telebi gyro. These are supposed to be pretty good quality, uh, but who knows? Um, so we'll find out. I spent about $34 for this gyro. Next up is the eSky brushless motor. It's the 3900 kV motor, and I got this from xhilly.com for about $17. This is what I've been using on my EXI 450 for about two years. Haven't had any problems with it. Now you're also going to need to get a pinion. I believe an 11 tooth is about what most people use for the T-Rex 450. This is the one thing I didn't buy from any of my online sources, so you're going to have to go to your local hobby shop to order one. I'll try looking online for one so that I can give you a link so that you could order it and get everything without leaving your house. So far this is one of the two little pieces that I had to get locally. And this pinion is just a couple bucks. Next up is this Turnigy 30 amp speed controller. I got this from HobbyCity.com for about $20. Now the motor that I got already has a connector that I'm going to use to put on the motor leads. The only other thing that I had to get at a local hobby shop was a battery connector since this speed controller did not come with any. And of course you're going to need the male side that can plug into your battery. And again that's probably like 50 cents or something like that. Here's a Lightmax 2200 milliamp hour 20C discharge battery. I got this from HobbyCity.com for about $17. Alright, so now you know where I got all the parts and how much I paid for them. The one thing I forgot to mention was how much the shipping was. And between both places that I ordered from, including the fast shipping from China, it all came to about $35. Please subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss the next video where we start building this helicopter.